Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to hop on here this morning to talk about something that has just been on my mind, and I'm wondering if you guys are are sort of thinking about the same things. And here's what it is. Um, I've already started to see, in fact, I saw it weeks ago, people posting on Facebook or just, you know, it's just in the air about what are we thankful for? Thanksgiving's next week, you know, what are we thankful for? And um, I love, Thanksgiving is actually my favorite, favorite holiday because it is so low key and it is, um, it, it, it is around that idea of um, being grateful for what we have and, and that just totally checks my my box. I am, um, I love my dad is the most grateful man on earth and I hope that I, I get a little bit of what he uh, gives off to everybody else because I am a really grateful person. But I've been feeling sort of this pressure of you know, coming up with things that I'm grateful for. And it's so crazy because everywhere around us are, are things that we should be grateful for. But here's where the story gets even better. And this is the part that I wanted to share with you and see if this sort of um, resonates with you. So as I am thinking about things that I'm extremely grateful for, my mind started to go back to something that I'm actually doing right now, and that's researching the topic of, um, of confidence. I'm going to be doing a course on confidence, and, um, and I'm researching. I'm researching why myself, my personal story of no confidence, uh, came from. So as I'm researching this lack of confidence that I had gone through, um, it was made me, it, it was making me remember things in my past. And it's so good for all of us to um, really do some introspection and find out why we are the way we are. You know, we're not, we're, none of us are perfect, so we're, it's always time for refinement. But as I am, um, hi guys, hi Chrissy, hi Michelle. Um, as I'm doing this research, I have to dig into my past and come up with some things that, that were sort of the problem that I, that I wasn't confident. And here's where Thanksgiving is tied in with that. I am praising my past. I'm praising my past. Um, it, it was a great past, but there were also some things that were just really icky about it. But I have decided that I'm gonna praise my past. Um, I'm gonna pull out my faith here a little bit, so bear with me. Um, but there's something um, in, in, in the faith that I believe in, there's something called stones of remembrance and I actually have these two stones are actually got some spider webs on them but pull them off of my front porch they're actually right by my front door I put them right by my front door and they're my stones of remembrance and my faith and um, there's a story about stones of re remembrance um, there was a time when um, you may maybe you've heard the story about the Red Sea parting and the Israelites got to go through, and then as soon as they were on the other side, the, the waters closed up around them. Well, there's another time when the waters parted, and that was in the Jordan River. The waters parted, and the Israelites got to go, a, go across, and as soon as they were across, the water started flowing again. And they were instructed to grab stones and make a monument. And they called them their stones of remembrance to remember all the good things that had happened, even in the midst of all the bad things, to remember all the good things. And that, my friends, is what I'm choosing to be grateful for this Thanksgiving. And I want to expand on that a little bit. So I'm choosing to look at my past with a positive lens. Um, I've done blogs and videos about you know, rear view mirror thinking and how, how we shouldn't have rear view mirror thinking. And I do believe that when it drags us down and we hold on to our past and we don't move forward. But in this case, I want you, I want me to have very clear rear view mirror thinking. Um, you're not your past, I'm not my past, but much can be learned from our past. Um, 
if we let it, we can learn so much. Our past can be one of our greatest teachers. So as I'm digging into my past and into the, some of the yucky things that I wish I could just tear that chapter out of my book, you know what I mean, you know, we all have these, what we think these stories of our life, and they are. We just wish we could tear chapters out or erase some of it or um, edit it. And that's all good, but if we let it, the past can be a fabulous teacher. It can show us what not to do. It can break patterns that are absolutely not serving us. We can look at things that happen and say, uh-uh, that's not serving me in my world right now. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Brittany. So I'm going to learn from my past and move on. So I'm going to challenge you guys, just like I'm challenging myself, to look at our past, the part that you don't like to look at a lot, the part that you wish you could just fast forward through. And I want you, just like I want myself, to start praising the past because the past has made me what I am today. I'm not that same girl, woman, whatever. Um, there's a promise in my faith that beauty comes out of the ashes. So I can, I can accept that and say there's some really awesome things. So out of my past, I have realized that I can take what I've learned and pay it forward onto someone else so they don't make the same mistakes that I did. So my challenge, uh, my challenge for myself, my challenge for you is as we're in this season of Thanksgiving, um, which is my favorite season, I just told you that, my favorite holiday, yes, be grateful, be grateful for our family, our, our relationships, our friends, our house, our, our jobs, our whatever, the food we eat, absolutely, positively. But also, be grateful for the things that happened in your past that you never thought to be grateful for. Um, grab some stones, get some stones and remember, if you have to, this is what I do, I stick them by my front door so I remember every time I come in the front door after taking my dogs from a walk, I see these. And I can remember the way things used to be, the good and the bad, and learn from them. So, your past can be one of your best teachers if you let it. Look in the rear view mirror with a positive lens. Pay it forward, knowing you're not your past, but you can redirect what's happening now. Um, and that's it, that's it. Um, I hope that this made sense because it makes, hey, Julie Ann, hey, Kim, hey, Stacy, um, because it makes complete sense to me. And I, I can only imagine that if I have things that I wish um, wish had not happened, that I could tear that chapter out, that I could erase that, uh, that I could do, have a major do-over. I could only imagine that you guys have experienced the same thing. So, embrace your future, praise your past, and let your past be the best teacher out there. So, have a great day, guys. Thanks for hopping on. Um, if you got any value out of this, I'm serious. Um, I am so about paying it forward. Um, I've had the best, best mentors in my life that have just spoken into it. And what they show me and teach me and, and emulate for me, I try to do the same thing and that's called paying it forward. So if this video helped you in any way, share it, pass it on. Um, that's what we're supposed to do in this world is to link arms and make it a better place. Have a great Tuesday. Bye.